Hello, well, Steve White, Steve White's 89. I'm here with Kermit, but um, he's a bit upset, so he can't talk. Uh, Disney has can Disney Plus has cancelled Muppets Mayhem. I'm like, are you kidding me? One season. They gave it one season. Um, Disney just doesn't know what to do with the Muppets, and it's really simple. You make the Muppet Show, and you just make it today, and you allow them to comment on today, and that is how it's relevant, because... They're, they're, they're commenting on today. It's just, th these people, it's like, oh, it doesn't work today. Oh, we have to base it in the 70s. It's all these stupid people with stupid ideas. And it's just so frustrating because the Muppets are great. I love the Muppets my whole life. And whenever they get close to getting it right, it works. Um, now, I mean, personally, <laughs> the Muppet movie was really great and everything, but they were going to do a Halloween movie before that, and I wish they'd done that because I love horror movies. But um, then they did The Muppets Haunted Mansion, which wasn't quite the same. Um, but yeah, so I didn't, honestly, I didn't see the show. Um, it looked interesting. Um, they got like six Emmy nominations, like um, Rotten Tomatoes or whatever. It was like, it was like 80, 80 or 90 percent. Um, they got like, they had a number one Billboard album or something, I think, from the soundtrack and everything. I mean, all the responses to this guy's... Because this, okay, so they cancelled the show, and then there's one douche. I don't know who the hell he is. I don't know who this guy is. He's like, who the hell is David Lee? He said, the Muppets are a product and relic of their time. They're no longer relevant or relatable. They will never be a huge franchise. I've been saying this for years. That said, if you're going to attempt building shows around obscure niche characters, that's not the way to do it. Blah, blah, blah. Who the, who is this guy? He's nobody who he is. So, yeah, um, and it's just so stupid. He's saying that they are a product of the the variety show was a product of the counterculture at the time, and there were a lot of variety shows then. So that is one element that um we don't see so much of. But they were a, you know they were a commentary on what was happening. So they didn't have some shows that have a specific theme or a specific thing that something does. Other things they just comment on you know the times, and that that just never you know, ends. It never grows old. So I don't know why they're so stuck on this. Now, they did The Muppets Tonight back in the day, back in the 90s, and as far as I remember, that show worked. I don't know how many seasons they got, but it worked. I enjoyed it. It was good. Um, and they just got caught up. I know they tried to do, like, a, a show where they were running, like, a studio, and they I think they took it too seriously, or... I don't know. I, I haven't had Disney Plus all these years, so... Um, and I haven't had Foxtel for years, and that's where um, the Muppets were. So I had the Muppets for a while, and then um, when I moved, and I couldn't have Foxtel anymore, I couldn't have cable anymore, um, I kind of lost track of the Muppets because they were sort of relegated to Disney, um, which is one of the biggest mistakes. When Disney bought them, they didn't know what to do with them, and all they did was limit them, and, and it's like, they used to be everywhere, and then they were just like only on Disney, and Disney didn't know what to do with them. So it has been a bit of a disaster, but not because of the Muppets. Um, and also they they fired the, the actors. They, they treated them just like, well, you're just a puppeteer, and you're too expensive, and you've got opinions, and we just want to make the show how we want. We don't care about the consistency of the characters or anything, so we're just going to fire you. And those actors all came out against Disney, which is just a whole bunch of P bad PR. And I'm like, well, oh, good job. You got rid of the actual person who knew the character who gave it some consistency and and then you turned them into, you know, an enemy who's now speaking out about you and bad-mouthing you. So they've just done everything wrong. Um, Disney doesn't know what to do with the Muppets. They should sell it back to um, the Hensons. They did a great job with um, the Dark Crystal reboot that they did. For Netflix, it got cancelled, of course, because it cost some money. Even though it was good and everybody loved it, it's like, well, we can do cheaper crap um, that gets just the same ratings, but they kind of missed the point of, you know, art. Um, so, yeah, I just it's very frustrating because I love the Muppets, and I hate that they're so limited that you can only see them on um, Disney+, Plus, and that they don't know what to do with them, and they haven't done much with them, and that the original actor's like... I don't think the new Kermit actor sounds like Kermit. I mean, how hard is it to sound like Kermit? I mean, we all know that voice, but yet this guy can't do it. And the actual actor who still wants to play Kermit, they got rid of because he told them what, what Kermit would or wouldn't do and how to, you know, how to actually, you know, use the character. And they're just like, don't tell us what to do, puppeteer, and got rid of him. Um, 
yeah, it's just, it's just really baffling and frustrating and uh, it's just, I just want to see my Muppets back on the screen and see them treated with respect and, and see them comment on, on things that, you know, are relevant that we can laugh at, you know, um, we don't see that anymore because Disney's scared to touch any, anything irrelevant. It's, uh, it's just, so yeah, RIP, um, Muppet Mayhem, um, I don't think it was the greatest idea for a Muppet show, but it looked okay. So um, hopefully they'll do next better with the next one. But I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And yep. Uh.